It's an annual tradition, especially for Instagrammers. We're talking about the gorgeous poppy bloom in Antelope Valley, but will it look different this year? That's the question. Jean Ryan is state park interpreter for California, and she is here to talk about the latest weather conditions this morning. First, good morning to you, and thanks a lot for being with us as well. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, so so many people love taking pictures in the poppy field, especially for Instagram. <laughs> uh, how are dry yes. conditions impacting this year's bloom? Well, you know, we have to have a lot of rain in the early part of the season, starting around October, and then it has to kind of keep going like that through the rest of the season to keep the plants going so we can have a good bloom. Unfortunately, this year we had a lot of early rain, but we didn't keep getting those bumps the rest of the season. So we're having a really good bloom. This is actually a picture behind me of um, this weekend. So we're having a better bloom than we were expecting, but um, it's probably going to be brief because without more rain in the forecast and without any rain the last month or so, um, the plants are struggling. So they're just getting everything they can to, to push a few seeds out and, um, and just continue their annual cycle. We'll put the blame on our meteorologist, Amber Lee, here. Right, right. <laughs> and so you say this is what it looks like now. Jean, how long do you think people have to come and see it? Because that's the thing, making plans for the weekend. And it's supposed to rain Sunday. Does that help? You know, it's supposed to rain, but <laughs> we are out here in the desert. We're in a kind of a transitional habitat. Um, so a lot of times the rain that is predicted just never gets here. So, you know, maybe we'll get some rain. If we do, it'll probably give us a couple more weeks of the bloom. As it is, the plants are starting to get a little, a little tan color, not quite as vibrant as they, as they were even last week. Um, so, in, in my prediction, I would say that we'll have a good bloom for at least another week or so. After that, if we have heat, then it could even toast what we have. All right, got a week to do what we need to do. Where are the trails for people to see the plants uh, that are in bloom? And uh, what is the best time of day to visit? Best time of day to visit is after 10 and before 4 o'clock because the poppies will actually curl up in the, in the afternoon. Um, I was out there at four o'clock yesterday and they were starting to curl up already. They only open up when it's warm enough for their pollinators to be out. And where are the trails so again? People... Oh, so the trails were, there's eight miles of trails through the whole park and we pretty much have poppies everywhere this year. It's, it's sometimes it's in patches, one part of the park or another, but this year it's kind of covering the whole, the whole park. So there isn't a bad trail to go on this year. All right, Jean, thank you so much and good luck to you. And I, I hope it works out for all of us who love the poppies. Sure. Yeah, um, I do want to let you know we have a, a, a live poppy cam. If anybody wants to see how our park is doing, you can just go to our state parks website, parks.ca.gov forward slash live forward slash poppy reserve. And um, I can actually show you what it looks like right now. It's not going to be very exciting, but here is our poppy cam in the dark. <laughs> And as the day gets a little lighter, then you'll be able to see um, our our live streaming poppy cam. Great. All right. Thank you for that. We appreciate it. And, and good luck to you as well. <laughs> thank you very much. Good talking with you. Right. Yeah, we'll put that link on our website in case anybody didn't catch it. Whenever I hear a forward slash, I start going, uh oh, I didn't get my pen out. So <laughs> put it on CBSLA.com. But good news if you want to go this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, their poppy cam when the sun is up, it actually looks kind of cool because you can see what, where the poppies are. Nice. So that's why. But yeah, if you do plan on heading to go to Lancaster, which is in the Antelope Valley where the poppy reserve is located, they open at sunrise and close at sunset. So,